Good afternoon. My name is Natalia Bravo, and I am the curator of the biological collection at the University of Santander C. Budis. The presentation is titled Taxonomic Diversity and Distribution Patterns of Microorganisms in the C. Budis Biological Collection. The coordinator of the biological collection is the research professor Juanita Trejos Suarez. In the QR code located at the top, you can access the microsite of the biological collection where you can observe the various species of microorganisms, including registered bacteria, fungi, and yeasts. The collection is registered in the National Registry of Biological Collections and in the WDCM, World Data Center for Microorganisms. In the QR codes, you can find more detailed information about the collection. The data provided by researchers has been adapted to the Darwin Core Standard. The biological collection has 2,583 specimens registered, including 2,511 bacteria and 72 fungi. Approximately 95% of the strains are identified at the species taxonomic level, while 5% are identified at the genus level. In the images, you can observe some macroscopic and microscopic morphologies of microorganisms isolated and identified by the researchers. The microorganisms deposited in the biological collection come from various samples, including the digestive tract of Diatrea saccharalis larvae, outpatient and hospitalized patients, environmental areas of hospitals, healthy plant tissue, soil naturally contaminated with cadmium, produced water from the Latira infantis oil field, bark samples, environmental samples, human and environmental samples, broiler necropsy soil samples, the NIH project on commensal and diarrheogenic E. coli, soils associated with citrus, species associated with Leuconathia volubilis, and species associated with Rittinus communis. The methods used for microorganism identification in the collection focus on two stages. The first stage involves classical microbiology, where culture media are used to allow the optimal and selective growth of microorganisms, along with confirmatory biochemical tests. The second stage involves the use of molecular biology, specifically in the detection of genes specific to these microorganisms. An example is the sequencing of the UIDA gene present in Escherichia coli bacteria. The cryopreservation methods are based on the use of 30% glycerol for bacteria and the use of cryo pellets for fungi at 80 degrees C. The viability and purity of the specimens are confirmed using established curation methods. Culturing and biochemical and molecular confirmation help determine the status of each microorganism. Biological collections store a wealth of data about each of the specimens they record. Data visualization plays a crucial role in analyzing this information making it accessible, interpretable, and actionable for any audience. In order to visualize and study these data, the Power BI tool was employed. In the QR code located at the top of the slide, you can access the interactive dashboard created for our collections data. The following video illustrates the relationships between the different variables. In the generalities panel, you can find data on the taxonomic classification, ranging from kingdom to genus and the taxon category. Additionally, it provides information about the location by municipality and coordinates, which are visualized on the map. You can also see the sampling protocol that was carried out for each microorganism. In the identification section, you'll find the principal researchers who isolated the microorganisms deposited in the collection, the biological comments they made regarding the acquisition of each strain, their georeferencing, and the year in which they were isolated and identified. In the taxonomy section, you'll find the scientific names of the registered specimens, their association with the department where they were isolated, the year, and the researcher who conducted the study. The interactive dashboard created in Power BI is titled Taxonomic Diversity and Distribution Patterns of Microorganisms in the Seabutis Biological Collection. We have a home panel where you will find information divided into generalities, identification, and taxonomy. 
Under generalities, you can find relationships regarding tax and category, the number of individuals per taxonomy, per municipality, and their respective sampling protocol. Clicking on firm acutes reveals the interaction between different variables. According to the information, there are 55 microorganisms belonging to this phylum, with 51 identified to the species level and 4 to the genus level. The majority were isolated in Bucaramanga. The dashboard also displays the genera within this phylum, along with the number of microorganisms they have and the sampling protocol employed. The creation of interactive panels and reports enabled the identification of patterns and trends within the collection's records. This integration of data improved their management and facilitated decision-making within the collection. Thank you for your attention.